Don't look at the bright side where we find the silver lining in life's dark clouds. We don't have anything forward, things are secure. We just have our hope and perspective. Thanks to the 24 7 news cycle relentlessly bombarding us with the horrors of the world, we've become emotionally numb. I feel nothing inside. Nothing but overwhelmed by the seemingly infinite, insolvable issues of life. We stop caring as an emotional self defense mechanism, and then inaction perpetuates these depressing events that put you in a state of inaction to begin with, creating a cycle of indifference that only ends in death. <sighs> but look on the bright side. Why? Why? Tell me, you chippy little fuck. I'm Nat Bamel. And I'm Eric Barnes, and there are at least eight positive aspects to apathy. Okay. Yeah. Loss of malicious motivation. It's been said the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil men is for good men to do nothing. Whoa, first of all, I find that expression sexist. Personally, I think women are just as capable of being evil. But if everyone, including the evil men, sorry, evil people, are apathetic, then they won't be motivated to commit atrocities. So much of the worst conflict in the world is caused by people who care so much about their beliefs. If everyone were apathetic, terrorist attacks would disappear, since no one would really care about anything enough to blow themselves up over it. They'd go from suicide bombings to, worst case scenario, farting in elevators. <sighs> Hamas? Mm-mm. Hummus. Garbanzo. Lowers stress. When you care too much about everything, that's stressful. Stress can lead to high blood pressure, ulcers, loss of sleep and appetite, a compromised immune system. And wrinkles. And premature balding. Or both. Making your head look like a thumb after a long bath. So, a good old dose of apathy can improve your health and your hotness. Also, not caring while on dates means you're less likely to seem desperate. And when you don't try that hard, that's when they want you the most. Right? God, you're hot when you're aloof. I know. Eliminates prejudice. There's some things in the world you shouldn't care about. Like someone's race, religion, or ringtone. This is who I am. Small stuff? Remain small. When you don't care, you're less likely to sweat the small stuff, make a mountain out of a molehill, or fillet five fellows to forget one foreman. You know, those old cliches. For example, let's say you're at your wedding and the icing on the cake is beige instead of off yellow like you ordered. Instead of flipping out and ruining the big day by blaming your new dog-in-law and calling them the slur for corgis. Tummy draggers. And just let it slide and focus on what's really important about getting married. The tax breaks! Paparazzi would go out of business. Hey look! Tom Hanks proctologist is double fisting kielbasas over here! No one gives a fuck. Less time consuming revenge quests. My name is Indifferent Montoya. You killed my father. I understand. He was mouthy and a drunk. Instead of wasting my youth seeking vengeance, I opened the successful chain of patisseries. Prepare to pop. Reduces overthinking? When you care about something you're working on, you want it to go well. You become terrified of failure and meticulously go over every minute detail again and again and again. You become too involved in the minutia and again and again and again and can't see the big picture. And then again and again and again and again. The whole thing collapses and that's if you're even able to complete it. Perfectionism is an anchor. Instead of trying to make everything live up to some imagined impossible standard, sometimes it's better to just let something suck and move on. Like this transition. Living authentically. You can be truly yourself and happy when you stop caring what people think of you, which is hard. We've all been guilty of it. Back in high school, I wasted so much time worrying about looking cool to others. Same. And for what? Everyone I tried to impress as a teenager is now one of those DUI attorneys you see on the bus. And I don't mean on an ad. They're alcoholics and terrible at their job. It may sound selfish to live in a way that makes you happy without worrying about others, but when you're happy, 
it's easier to make other people happy. It's okay to stop caring for a bit. Everyone needs vacation now and again. And if you can't afford a real vacation, anytime the cruelty and stupidity from the dreads of humanity make you lose hope in the future, just take a mental health break by going on a temporary don't give a shit sabbatical. Like we're planning on doing five minutes after this video goes live on YouTube. So troll away. <laughs> we don't care. Right? Oh, Jesus. You're so indifferent right now. Thank you very much for watching. If you can think of any more positives for apathy, leave them in the comments below. And yeah, like, subscribe, ring the bell. I don't give a fuck. But I do want to thank our guest, uh, Vanessa Guerrero. Follow me on all my forums of social media, which is Ness Gruton on Twitter, Instagram, and whatever else probably exists out there. I also have a podcast called Kicking and Screaming where we talk about horror movies and martial arts movies and we pair them into a double feature and make them kiss. And you can find that on Kick Scream Pod and all forms of social media and also on Apple and Spotify. And as ever, fuck you! Be nice. Jeff! Tell me, chippy little... Fucky. <laughs> <laughs>